The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you a Theory Thursday today on Balanced Lil Cup. And this suggestion was brought to you today by my buddy Undead Jordy who asked for an LC team or Ubers. And well, I certainly prefer LC over Ubers. And I had some teams that I haven't used in a while so I thought, hey, might as well get a couple battles. Only problem was, it definitely took a while to get these battles because 6th gen OU is becoming much more popular right now. So Theory Thursdays are going to shift over to 6th gen relatively soon, but I may have one or two more 5th gen related Theory Thursdays. It's all up to you guys in the comments suggesting what kind of tiers and generation you want me to do it on. Anyway, my balanced LC team I have here is a Life Orb Apom, which I can sometimes see Silk Scarf being an option, but it doesn't pack enough punch with Shadow Claw in my opinion when you're trying to hit Mischievouses. I also have Why Not just being like a mini Wobbuffet. I have Pineco for all of my hazards slash spinning. I have an Orenberry Krogunk, which is specially oriented with Nasty Plot, an Orenberry Ponyard, which is physically oriented with Swords Dance, and then finally an Unaware Whooper, which is able to just Toxic Stall. And I do have Orenberries on my Krogunk and Ponyard because they are way better than Lefties or Black Sludge. Trust me, especially when you're using Substitutes, you're definitely going to get a lot more HP back from Orenberries than you are to get from Lefties. Anyway, let's see what's so great about this team. So one thing that's very important when making a balanced team is making sure that you can check as many pokes in the meta as possible. And with a combination of Why Not and Wooper, I'm pretty much able to do that. Why Not is able to counter many different threats because it's able to make pokes stop setting up through Encore, and it's also able to use Counter or Miracle depending on the situation, able to take out a ton of pokes. Then I have Threats. Being Ponyard and Krogunk, they are definitely very threatening even after just one SD. I was able to take out that Golding thankfully, although it was pretty close just after plus two and I was able to get a ton of damage off. Unfortunately Ponyard's reign ends due to a bit of hacks, but I do have my Wooper here just to handle this Porygon relatively easily and just Toxic Stall. Although the Abra does carry the Energy Ball unfortunately, so my Wooper goes down. But my Pineco is actually strong enough to bring the Abra down to its Sash through an uninvested Bug Bite. And I'm able to clean up with Krogunk here because of the super effective Vacuum Wave. Now one thing is I was playing smart around that Zigzagoon just going for the Iron Head to take him out. But in the case that the Zigzagoon was able to successfully get off the Belladrum and be at plus 6, I still had Wooper at the time and since I'm unaware, I would be totally fine in walling that and eventually taking it out. So. This team is pretty solid in my opinion, but it definitely has weaknesses, so let's see what those are. From my perspective as a decent LC player, I would say that both teams that I faced were definitely competitive LC teams and that my opponent knew what they were doing for the most part. Sometimes it can really just be execution on your own part. Now, I'd like to talk about some big threats being Abra and Mianfu, especially the Mianfu on my opponent's team here. Mianfu has access to Fake Out, so it's a nice priority move to get rid of Sashes or just to stall out a poke a little bit longer. Plus, it's pretty darn strong, and with High Jump Kick and Drain Punch, it has pretty nice access with Regenerator, so it can just keep coming in, keep doing more damage. And my only real counter to it is Apom with my own Fake Out. Abra can be very annoying as well, especially when it's the Focus Sash variant, because better players know when priority is coming. They just bring in a wall to take that priority hit and then they can come in with Abra whenever they feel like it's safe. So it's really a matter of prediction. So a couple more things to address, status. Murkrow is known for its prankster shenanigans and as you could tell from the T waves, I was definitely getting a bunch of para hacks and that was definitely not helping me. And one more problem can definitely be set up. When pokes such as Drillbur, which are very threatening, can set up swords dances or anything of the sort, especially when I have status already on me, I'm not in a good position and therefore I'm probably in a likely position to be swept. As you can see here, Mianfu did end up winning the game and that's because I just ran out of checks to successfully take on this Mianfu. So with that said, I hope you did enjoy this team. I hope you will use this team in future 5th gen LC matches or even 6th gen LC if you're up for it. Feel free to keep leaving more suggestions for different teams and tiers that you want me to do. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later. Peace.